welcome back to Six Ashes. My name is Dave. Today we are back up in the yard and we are getting we've got a few people in. Well they've moved with all their equipment in. I think they're away having their having a breakfast somewhere. Probably gone down to the pub for a breakie or something. Anyway. That'll give us a quick chance for me to have a quick look round and uh, show you what is going on here today. So as you can see we've had a load of wood delivered. Um, I'm having a couple of gates put up. I want one on here um, at the end of this track over here to um, keep it um, keep it secure. So we're going to have a gate put up on here. We've already got a gate on the other yard so we're not going to have to worry about that. Um, and uh, I might uh, I might put another gate up um, at the entrance to where it goes into into the other other part of the yard there. Haven't decided whether I'm going to do that yet, or I might even completely strip this hedge out that goes up here and completely open this up. So we might do that. So, but at the moment, um, the contractors are here to. Um, put in cables for electric because we need we need some electric up here because there is nothing here at the moment We've got no lights no nothing it is dark as anything up here um, at night time so um so hopefully uh once they start getting some um get some trenches dug and uh, getting the cables in um we should be we should be good to go hopefully um and uh, yeah, so yeah, they've delivered everything that they need. They've got a lovely little load, lovely little, lovely big low loader over there. This Hitachi uh, excavator, which has definitely seen better days, um, has had some, has got some hours on it, that's for sure. Has had some, uh, has seen some action. Um, but um, but yeah, so that's basically what we're going to have left to do next time. I think we're going to have some some standing lamps um, dotted around. Um, also going to get some uh, some lamp some lights inside. Everything will be button uh, button push uh, lamps inside the um, inside the sheds and stuff like that. So hopefully hopefully we should be we should be good to go in in a couple of days. Uh, luckily we're not up here much um, at the moment, but. What I need to do today is I need to try. I want to try and get the fast track up and running, and uh, get it on the back of this trailer, and uh, maybe bring it back down here, stick it in the workshop, and then I can start working on it. So that's my that's my plan for today, anyway. But I need it to I need it to run. If it doesn't, I don't know have to try and tow it down I suppose um, but I'm hoping it'll run an, at least enough to get to get it up onto the um, to get up onto the trailer here that'd be nice and we can uh, yeah we can pull it down then which would be good there we go Let's get up to the next to the other little yard up here so how is everyone doing today I do hope we're all well you can always uh, drop me a comment. Let me know what you what you're up to, farming wise. What you up to at the moment? What you're doing? Where are you? Um, are you in the in the world? And what are you up to? Luckily though, we've not got with these things. It's not far up here. I'm really hoping this fast track fires up. I really am. But what we're going to do, guys and girls, is we're going to. Well, I am going to. Um, change the fuel filters and stuff on there and uh, hopefully oh, let's turn it off first hopefully we should be good to go so I'm going to get that done and I will catch you all in a few minutes right so we've got our hands dirty we've changed I've drained all the fuel out because um, that, that, was, that was no good the fuel in there was absolutely just no good at all. Changed all the filters um, and give it all a bit of a, a going over. So it, I, I think I think it should fire up, but there is no fuel in it 
and I forgot to sort out a fuel tanker. So I've been on to um, the local shop. They've got a fuel tanker for me. I've had to buy it. So it's a brand new piece of equipment, but we're going to need it anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and fill it up down at the local um, petrol station. Going to cheer them up down there, that's for sure. So we're going to go and do that. <coughs> we're going to come back. We're going to fill up the um, fill up the JCB and uh, keep our fingers crossed. I'm hoping the trailer's going to go on the back of the transit because if it doesn't, oh, I, don't, I really don't know. Um, going to swing out and have a look around here. Let's have a look. Let's get around here. I'm not sure we're going to. Might have to put in another, put in another um, entrance coming down this way, so it's easier for us to get in and out of this, in and out of the yard there. Could put in an entrance up the top here, actually. Could do that. So that's something to think about. But yeah, so um, it should be around the back there somewhere. There it is. Fuel station is just down there. So this should. Ooh, that's a run nice truck. Like that, like that a lot actually. Um, so yeah, this should hopefully hook up. Yeah, see if that's close enough. Back a bit further. Dave, you can do this. There we go. Awesome. There we go. We've got no electrics in the back of here. That might cause us a bit of an issue. But let's see this down I better not I better not fill this up to the top actually because it's gonna be heavy so so transit's not gonna be very good at uh, hauling that so let's put I don't know let's put a, f mm, a few hundred liters no I don't know actually yeah I'd, we'll have a look I'll have a look when we get there let's go and fill this up though Transit's been through a lot in its lifetime. It's it's been so used to pulling more than its fair share. But um, it's definitely starting to show its age now, so I don't wanna I don't wanna give it I don't wanna give it too much of a hard time. There we go, so we're at the fuel station. Whoop! Hey, there we go. Right. I'm just gonna pop in and make sure that it's okay for me to do this. I'll catch you all in a bit. Right. There we go. Got to be honest, they weren't overly keen. <laughs> they weren't overly keen. But I don't want to put too much in here because I don't want to be. Um, if I can, I want to be using red on the tractors anyway. If I can. So. Um, but um, yeah, they weren't. They said that yes, but obviously, no. I can't. I can't fill it up. It's too way, way, way too much. So I'm just going to put in enough for what I need for the first couple of tractors. Or oh, we've got three tractors. So if we can get all them fired up, that'd be really, really handy. So, but uh, they were very, very good, very generous in uh, in letting me uh, let me take some of their stock out. So can't grumble really. But as long as we've got enough just to keep our, just to fire our vehicles up to start with, uh, and then I can work out a way of, because uh, <coughs> apparently there's a, there is another farm around <coughs> where I can go and get some red from. So 
so hopefully we should be good to go. But right, I reckon that's probably going to do us. Hopefully. We'll see. Right, I'll get this sorted out. Catch you all in a bit. Right, we are back at the yard. We're good to go. Hopefully. I've refueled it. Put a little bit of fuel in it. Hopefully we should have enough for it to for it to fire up and get going. Let's hop in. There we go. Right, so changed all the filters. We've checked all the leads. We've uh changed the oil. Give it a brand new um pretty much give it a service, pretty much. New battery. Drained the fuel, filled it with new fuel. Hopefully, we should be good to go. This tractor's got nearly a thousand hours on it. A thousand hours on this tractor. So we're going to give it, we might have to give it a bit of a, definitely give it a clean up. Um, Bodywork looks all right. Yeah, it's a bit flaky in places, but fingers crossed. Right, let's see if she fires over. Are we ready? Three, two, one go Ooh. Ooh, nearly Her and she's up and running. We're good to go. Oh my god, this brings back so much memories. Do you know what? It is so clean in here. Now, thing is, will she move? Will she move? I've give the where where I can reach. I've give the brakes a bit of a tap. Oh, I don't want to move. It's moving. It's moving. Oh, a slow. I think we. Yeah, I think they might be a little bit seized on. I think. If we've got enough, oh, we're slowing down even more. Let's just get some some movement in them wheels. Oh, let's see if we can get this back in reverse. Oh, she don't want to. She don't really want to move. I'm scared I'm going to do more damage than good here. Alright, let's stick her into forward gear and let's see if we can get something going here. I've got nothing forward. At all. Nothing. That's not good. Oh, hang on. No, it must have just been must have been a roll down a hill or something. Right. Um yeah. That's not good. Um I can I can creep around in reverse. But that's about it. So forward gear. There's something wrong somewhere with the forward gear. I've got nothing. Nothing forward whatsoever. Right, okay. So I'm going to leave her running. Uh, what we're going to have to do is work out. We'll probably have to turn this trailer round. If I can, if I can reverse her up, we might be, we might be okay. Um, so if I hook up the transit, maybe and pull up a little bit further up there, we might be good to go. Uh, let's just get rid of this off here for now 
let's let's um see if we can uh we can we creep through there I don't think we can we might have to let's go and turn around let's go and turn around if we can uh, I'm not sure we can get through that side we might have to yeah we'll have to go around this way avoid those low branches there we go right let's uh first down onto this we've got to pull it up a bit further oh Right, I'm just gonna go and uh onto there. There we go, cool. Lovely. Right, let's pull her forward. I'll leave the ramps down for now. Scrape them up the road. It won't be too bad. That's a bit of an incline. Okay, let's leave that there. Right, let's go and see if she's still running. See if we can reverse her up onto here. Oh, made a bit of a mess there. It's alright. It's not too bad. Right, let's see if. Yep. Yep, still got nothing, nothing forward. And that is about as much as I could do backwards. So, yeah, the, whether it's, whether it's a gear, a gear thing or not, I don't know. It could be some form of linkage, maybe, that we've, we've only got reverse. Um, but the brakes are definitely going to need... Oh no, come on. The brakes are definitely going to need... Um, unseizing without a doubt. Let's see if we can get this on there. Oh, do we have the power to get up on the ramps? Oh my god, only just I think. Only just. Oh no, come on. Oh, oh my god. Oh, don't get stuck there. That would be a bad idea. Not good. We're on though. I think we're on. Oh wow. I think we're on. <laughs> go she is on I've got to straighten her up a little bit but she is on I don't know how I'm gonna straighten that up we might have to I might have to just strap it grab the straps and strap it across before she falls off the edge of that trailer there but it's on which is the main the main thing so we can get this down into the workshop now and I can start working on it so but guys, that's where I'm going to leave it for now. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Um, if you have enjoyed, don't forget, to please leave a like, subscribe to this channel, make sure you click on the notifications to make sure you know every time a new episode goes out. But until next time, look after yourselves, take care of each other, catch you in the next